Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it. Caitlin Clark is the reason why a lot of great things is going to happen for the WNBA. LeBron, you are 100% right on these girls hating on Caitlin Clark. Y'all petty girls. <laughs> Should have been unanimous. Should, should have been. been. I agree. It should have been unanimous. That's right. It should have been unanimous. Now, on today's NBA rundown, we are going to talk about the possibility that the WNBA has botched things so bad with Caitlin Clark at this point that at some point in the future, Caitlin Clark might actually make the difficult but maybe wise decision to actually bail on the league that couldn't even get its Rookie of the Year award done correctly. Some two weeks after the regular season actually ended, they finally announced the Caitlin Clark Award. And I have to say, the fact that it wasn't unanimous was yet another slap in the face. Now, in the world of sports, we all know that there have been game changers. You know, those players that actually entered a league and actually shook things up so much that that league changed forever. I mean, take Babe Ruth in Major League Baseball. Then there's Magic Johnson and, of course, Larry Bird in the 80s, which was then followed up by Michael Jordan and the outstanding things that Jordan did. The three of them combined absolutely saved the NBA and helped turn it into the global juggernaut that it is today. Now, we all know that the WNBA over the years has certainly struggled. I've been following the league since day one, and I have never seen the kind of attention that this league is actually getting because of the Caitlin Clark effect. And yet, at the same time, it makes absolutely no sense that the league has not actually truly gotten behind Caitlin Clark. Now, we did have the USA basketball incident, which was, of course, absolutely ridiculous that Caitlin Clark wasn't on the USA basketball team. But enough for me. Let's. I've got a quick bite for you from Stephen A. Smith, and then I'm back with more. You make the call because of the betterment of the whole in the end. That is not compromising your integrity. That is business. And y'all are going to find that out. So Stephen A. Smith absolutely has that right. It's really all about money. And when you think about what the Caitlin Clark effect has actually done for the WNBA, it has been nothing short of amazing. Just take the two playoff games that Caitlin Clark had the opportunity to play in this year. You remember last year, the Indiana Fever were basically the worst team in the league, and they actually made it all the way to the playoffs this year. And in fact, they had their two games. And if you looked at the ratings for those two games, they had over 3.1 million people actually tune in, which was more than they've ever had for WNBA finals. Ultimately, we know the statistics behind what Caitlin Clark has done for this league since she entered it. And yet, at times, both people in the media as well as the players and former players have been putting up, if you will, roadblocks, making things even more difficult for Caitlin Clark, which, of course, makes absolutely no sense at all. Imagine if you were running a business and you had the opportunity to hire away one of the greatest salespeople ever from a competitor. You knew this particular person would come in and would immediately start closing deals for you. If you hired that person, brought him in, and then made things more difficult for him or her to actually do what they were trying to accomplish, well, my friends, that is exactly what has happened here during this rookie season of Caitlin Clark. So if you're Caitlin Clark and you've helped bring all of this attention to the WNBA, you've helped the TV ratings, you've helped the merchandise sales, you've done all of these great things. You even helped get chartered flights for the players, something that they couldn't accomplish in their first, what, 25 years of being a league. Ultimately, 
when you think about what Caitlin Clark has done, you really couldn't blame her if she went through another two or three seasons like this to actually come to the conclusion that maybe she should just go overseas and play there, where, of course, the money, at least from a salary perspective, is considerably higher than what the players can actually get in the WNBA today. Now, that certainly is going to change in the next couple years as the new uh, CBA goes into effect and the television deals uh, actually increase uh, from a monumental perspective. And certainly, Caitlin Clark has had a lot to do with that as well. But will the WNBA brass actually really understand that their golden ticket is not Angel Reese, but it is indeed actually Caitlin Clark? You know, on the court, I understand. I mean, Magic had Bird as a rival, but they only played each other twice a year unless they were playing each other in the NBA Finals. Caitlin Clark's big rival is supposed to be Angel Reese. And when you do this side-by-side comparison from a statistical perspective, it is absolutely clear that Caitlin Clark, from both a stats perspective as well as an eye test, perspective is clearly the more dominant player look i have to say i have been just shocked by how the wnba has botched and mismanaged for the most part this rookie season of caitlin clark and the rookie of the year award was just another example of that how could anybody who actually watches the wnba actually conclude that Angel Reese actually deserved to win Rookie of the Year. That award should have absolutely been unanimous. Now, maybe the WNBA will get its act together and Caitlin won't be forced to look overseas or forced to look at someplace else to play. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you, if this particular stuff keeps up, all of the on the court chippiness, all of the off the court berating by former players and current players, why wouldn't Caitlin Clark decide to actually make the move to a league in which she is actually wanted? All right, I'd love to hear your perspective on this particular topic. I believe Caitlin Clark will stay in the WNBA for a long time. I actually believe the WNBA is actually going to finally get their act together and actually treat Caitlin Clark exactly as she should be treated. She is the golden ticket, a once in a generation player that can absolutely turn the fortunes of a league around. All right, that's it for today's WNBA Rundown Show. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please go ahead and subscribe. And of course, like this video, every subscription and like certainly helps us grow the channel. For the WNBA Rundown Show, I'm Dave Dubois wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day. To the cool new music we go. This is Phoenix.